Hey, thanks for listening to the upcoming clip from Shooting the Shiznit. SDS is a fun wrestling podcast that releases two episodes. That's right, two episodes per week. You can listen to the complete episode by looking in the description of the clip. You can also subscribe to this channel to get future notifications about clips added to the channel. Archived episodes are on your favorite podcast player and also at www.stspod.club. Now on with the clip. I don't think I've told the story how Sex and Candy ended uh, at Diesburg. So, so uh, we're standing in the back. <laughs> we're standing in the back, and they said, uh, "Hey, uh, next week, what we want you to do, uh, BT, is uh, uh, we want you to grab Spot Moondog, uh, son, out of the out of the crowd." And we now his son was what 16, 15 or sixteen years old. Young. It, it uh, wasn't Chris. It was a young one. Whatever his name was, it was, yeah. he was young. Yeah. And he wanted me to pull his son out of the out of the crowd and whip him with the belt. And so, yeah. in the next week, we were going to have a leather strap match with the Moon Dogs. <laughs> and yep. Yep. Uh, <laughs> CJ and Paul looked at me and said, "Hey, we got real jobs. We don't we we don't uh, we don't do strap matches." So I actually told Spot, I said, "Look, I said." I actually called him Larry because I want him to know there was no disrespect. I said, Larry, there's no disrespect here, but my boys and me, we're not doing, um, we're not going to do any leather strap matches. And the next week, uh, we looked on the internet and we had a loser <laughs> leave town against uh, yeah. Naughty by Nature. So yeah, yeah, we, we got the belts. We had the belts. We yes, we did. The time. We did. <laughs> so we had to drop the belts and leave town, and. The funny thing is, you know, I, I, we became pretty good friends with Larry after that. And I talked to him, and he said, you know what, boys, you did the right thing. He said, number one, he's too young to be doing that. And number two, it didn't make sense. What would you – I mean, why would you just grab somebody and do that? You know, for no, just to start a feud, it made no sense. And that was one of the things we kind of had to stand up for ourselves and say, you know, this is stupid. We're not doing that. And from that point on, man, when me and John Michael started tagging, he he wa- he made a point to watch all our matches. He would come in; they'd be out back. He would come in to watch our match. He'd say, "Let me know, boys, when y'all are on." And he'd come in and watch every one of our matches. And I, he was just an awesome dude. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He was really friendly with me after that too. I mean, there was no animosity whatsoever.